G'day everybody and welcome back to 101 Week. Today we're going to be having a quick look at drawing different angles on paper or on steel. So for this you're going to need a few different things depending on whether or not you're doing this on steel or paper. You're going to need a scriber or a pencil, a set of dividers or a compass, and of course a straight edge or a ruler. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to do our 90 degree line. I've already gone over how to do this in a previous video so you can check that one out later on. Normally I make a point of not erasing previous marking out, but I don't want to confuse anyone with the lines that are already there. So we're going to start off with our 45. For this, you're going to need a medium to large circle. And we're just going to draw an arc on one of these sections. Now we have two points and obviously 45 degrees is half of 90 so we can come off each one of these points and bisect the 90 degree angle and then from here to here which is off screen damn it. okay so from here to here is going to be our 45 degrees there's two other angles that we use relatively often in fabrication mathematics all that sort of thing and that is 30 degrees and 60 degrees 30 degrees is one third of 90 degrees and 60 degrees is two thirds of 90 degrees the way that we do this is once again we draw an arc between our two 90 degree lines like so and then without changing this we come up off here and draw a line we can now cut and this should actually be 30 degrees and this should be 60 degrees and if we want to we can also cut this again from the other side and now we have three portions that are 30 degrees. It's actually very easy to get different angles of what you require. For instance, if I take a 45 degree angle and now I cut this one in half again using the same method of bisect an angle. Now I have 22.5. also a very handy angle to have. Of course we can do the same thing with our 30 degrees. Our 30 degree angle there. And now we have 15. Well, I hope you found this helpful, and that thus concludes the end of this episode of 101 Week, and also the first season of 101 Week, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed, look forward to some more regular content coming up soon, and probably another run of this sort of thing in the not too distant future. In the meantime, do remember to stay safe, happy crafting, and as always, cheers.